princess. Good day everyone, it's PJ. Welcome to a rather bizarre video today. So, I figured that we should play some good old Mario Party Star Rush, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've actually been wanting to do this for quite a while now, mainly because, um, when I first did a, uh, first look at this game, I actually only did the, um, I didn't do the Amiibo section. And that was mainly because I didn't have the, um, I don't have the fancy 3DS Amiibo edition. So I just have the regular one. So that's what. Then I bought this. Um, what do you call it? The Amiibo Reader. So yeah. So I'm actually gonna use this one today because I want to show off how amazing the um, Amiibo function of this game is, and not only that, how well the game is really well done too. So um, funny thing about this was um, I did check the menu screen for um, the first time I played this game, and it's cool because you can have whichever character you want representing the game. So obviously I had to have Peach do the um, do the uh, menu character, so obviously we had to do that. Let me show you my party level, so I'm level star, so I'm okay. So I practically got everything unlocked, I think I only have one more mini game to unlock, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. So I think the primary mode of using the amiibo is actually the toad scramble, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now the way I have the recording set up is um, actually a little difficult, um, mainly because um, I have it set up in the most bizarre way you could think of. And the funny thing about it is, um, I won't. The only button I will have trouble not um, trying to gain access to is probably the right button. So that's the only problem I'm gonna have with this game. So if there's any, I believe there's like one mini game where it uses the R button. So. It's gonna be quite difficult using the R button, but I won't. It's not too big of a problem. Now, funny thing is, in Mario Party Star Rush, the first player is red, which was pretty sad because you know, in Mario Party games, usually, I think starting with eight, the first player was always blue, and I love blue, and they removed that, so it was kind of sad. So, on the bottom screen, you have the character, your Toad, and you have OK. So, um, I'm not gonna use Toad. I don't know why they just stuck Toad in there. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and use the amiibo. Oh, I should show the top part really quick before I start changing it up. Okay, there you go. So when amiibo, if you bring an amiibo to the party, it comes with a special dice block. So you can play as any of these characters. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the signal well with the camera on the way the camera is now, but I might be able to get it on the bottom side, so. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I did get it, okay. Gold token from Mario Party 10, Detective Peach has joined the party. Yeah, Peach has joined the party. So as you can see, the little um, amiibo icon is right there. So let me just adjust the camera a little bit. And it looks good, so we'll go ahead and set the computer players to their difficulty. And then uh, we'll go ahead and check out the maps we have available. So for Mario Party Star Rush, we have like um, four worlds. There's world 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The primary game focuses on um, World 1 through 4. Uh, world 0 is actually just like a um, practice stage, if you will, but it's still pretty fun. And I like one of the boards, actually, so we're going to go ahead and play that one today. I figure Toad Scramble World 0 3 will be the most fun, and it's got the best music, or board music, if you will, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one. So hopefully um, some interesting characters characters appear on the board because I would love for them to be on my team. I like how the way Toad Scramble came out because you know it's like you play with all these different characters and it's funny because um, you're not using your personal favorite characters but getting your personal favorite characters is the best part except for when they're trying to some the computer players steal them from you and that's an angry moment. I remember playing this game and everyone kept stealing Peach from me. I was like no why'd they steal Peach from me why? It's so sad that it's a bother. <laughs> oh, and in case any of you are wondering, I'm actually using my iPhone to record this, so we'll see how well it works out. Yes, yeah, so when you use your Amiibo, it actually tells you that you're using your Amiibo. I thought that was pretty hilarious when I first played this. Oh no, my stars have been stolen! Please get them back from those mean bosses. Come on, let's go! Yes, said Peach, and that's the best part is you can start the game as your favorite character, which many of you know I would rather play the game as Peach instead of Toad. So pick an item to use by pressing X before rolling your dice. Okay, 
And then on the bottom screen, it shows just like the map and the boss that's featured right now. And then you have the R button to zoom in. Then the L button you use to um, look around the map really quick. Yeah, see, just like this, so nothing too fancy. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, dice block A button. Okay, then we just rotate the dice. Eight, ten, Mario Party ten, all right. Just gotta wait for 11 now. Oh, I made it right on the boss battle, that's cool. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, so you just go ahead and map out. Move it, yellow toe, you just stole all the goods. <laughs> but the computers are jerks like that, so. Boss time! Ha! Ah. Ah, said Peach. Yes, said Peach. I'm so excited to play this game. I wonder if the brightness setting is okay because it looks a little, a little too bright if you ask me. But we're just going to go ahead and play the game. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, the way the screen is positioned now, it's a little difficult for me to grasp, if you will. <laughs> so it's going to be very awkward for me when I play the, some of the mini games. Come on, Red Toad, don't fail me now. Okay. Peach is on. Hmm, huh? I like how this game centers around apples. That's pretty cool. I was like, hey, a mini game with apples. But, um, you know, usually the there's apples everywhere in Mario Party games. Fun thing about this game is um, Peach actually models this mini game on the Island Tour box. So it's pretty funny that... um. It was a boss battle. I was expecting it to be like a regular mini game. Ooh, more apples are coming. And it's kind of cool how this game um, utilized the fact that you can have um, multiple characters playing one mini game. Because, you know, we're in the age where. Ah! We are actually in the age where you want more playable characters on the battlefield. So I think that was pretty cool how they did that. Uh, the only problem is you're not actually controlling them. I thought you were, and I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, good. Ah, I think Green Toad threw me into that one. What a jerk. <laughs> Too bad I'm not on the blue team. We were totally won. No, I was almost there. Oh well. Yellow Toad got second place. I think even without the bonus, he was still in second regardless, so. Star Rescue! Star Rescue! <laughs> I was expecting this game to use the majority of the voice acting from Mario Party 10. Now, it actually does, but it sounds like they did get some new voice acting update for this game. They are like, well, you know what, Mario Party 10 voice acting was good, but we need to update it just a little bit. King bob -omb. What's he doing here? The King bob minigame minigame is pretty fun. Another boss has appeared. Okay. Rescue the stars from that one too. There's a mini. Oh, that's the mini game balloon. Whenever you pop that, you get a free mini game and some bonus coins. Popping balloons also starts a mini game. So hopefully we put lots of mini games. Ooh, partners. I heard Toadette. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I gotta get Toadette. Toadette has to be on my team. Okay, I think I'm ready for a dice block. Hopefully everyone is far, far away, because I want to that. Got nine this time. I think I can actually get Luigi too. No, I actually can't, because um, Yellow Toad's going to get him. Yeah, I got Toadette on my team, so that's pretty cool. So whenever you have Toadette, her, um, her ability is she can make flowers bloom. And the dice blocks she can roll is 3, 3, 3, and then 4, 4, 4. So it's pretty cool. But of course she's not going to be the leader because I need to get going with the bass ball, bass battle, the boss battle. And we're going to play as Peach, of course. Okay, which minigame looks more fun? That one's uh, difficult. This one's uh, really timey, if you will. This one's pretty fun if you know where you're going. This one can be really fun if you um, know what you're doing. So I think we're going to go ahead and do with Acorn Ucopia. I would have done the um, Fire Maze one. That would have been a pretty good one too. 
but this one's pretty fun because you can chaotically um, mess up the computer players. It's pretty hilarious. This one kind of reminds me of um, Mario Party 9's um, bubble bubble mini game. I forgot what it was called, but it's like um, when you hit each other, you sort of ricochet off each other, if you will. Ah! Say Peach. Ah! <laughs> Move! Stop hitting me! Computers are going all crazy. Ah! That was close. Ah! Freaking yellow toad screwed me over. <laughs> I love how the computer players just get hit. It's pretty hilarious. Stay away from me. Ah! Oh man, they still hit me. <laughs> Dear um, yellow toad, he's all. Ooh! Like he's all sad. Yeah, I made it to the finish line first. I could have done better, but the computers were just being idiots and throwing me into the ring of fire, if you will. Yeah, first place. I like how the boss battles make it very important for you to win because, you know, there is a star at stake. And everyone knows I need that star. Boss time! Said Yellow Toad. Rescue the star. So I'll have the advantage because technically um, I've got two extra helpers on my team. Um, the only thing is I have to tap, um, rapidly press the A button right now. Okay. Okay, there we go. Come on, today we gotta win this mini game. I like how the um, running animations are still good in this game. I knew I wasn't going to reach those in time. What the heck? Um, Yellow Toad freaking took my cannon. Toad it! <laughs> oh! Gotta get rid of these, gotta get rid of these. Don't blow up on me! Oh yeah. Um, what's his name is man? I won't reach that one. Ah, oh, stay away from me! Stay away from me! <laughs> Look at he's chasing me! <laughs> he was trying to blow me up, that jerk. There's the big bomb. Yeah, I got it before they did. So this is how the 3DS running animation looks. Pretty cool, right? Okay, get the big bomb. Hey, stay away from me. See, they're all jerks, so I'm trying to- Yeah, I got the final attack. Now that's what I'm talking about. I like how Green Toad was just chasing me. I was like, get away from me, get away from me! He was trying to blow me up on purpose. And check that out, I got another star. I'll take that! <laughs> oh man, this game is pretty fun. I love it for what it is. Now it's time to get our next boss, which is way the ek ek over there. If Yellow Toad rolls a one, then I can snatch up Luigi. But if he doesn't, then I'm in. Tr or well, I'm not in trouble. I just will have a another foe to get rid of, if you will. But hopefully, more partners appear so I can make a different decision, if you will. <gasps> I heard Daisy. I heard Daisy. Where is she? Where is Daisy? I gotta find her. Where are you, lady? DK. Oh, she's right there! I gotta get Daisy. Waluigi. Diddy Kong. Then Luigi's right there. So that means I need two partners. I can actually get DK and Daisy if I want it, so maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Um, we'll go ahead and roll the dice block. Oh, I wanted to change my allies, I forgot. Yeah, I see yellow to roll the one. Hey, 11! Woohoo, 11! I'm still waiting for Mario Party 11, though. I'm right here, Daisy. I'm coming. On the next turn, I can snatch you. DK's out. Woohoo! <laughs> this is actually DK's very first portable Mario Party, isn't it? Daisy, I'm right here. I can get you on the next turn. What? 
Um, what's his name? Didn't get, uh, the yellow toe didn't freaking get, um, what do you call it? The Luigi. Well, that was stupid. Why didn't he do it? I would have totally got Luigi if um, I know Re Yellow Toad wasn't going to go for it. Oh, I love this mini game, guys. So much fun. Okay. It's got booze, and how could you not love it for that? Do you boo? He's like, hey! Blue Toad's following me. Ah! Oh! Cut. Oh, Green Toad, Green Toad got caught too. So I guess when you get caught, the boo sort of disappear, huh? Where is it? Where are you, door? It's probably this way then. Jibu. <laughs> yeah, I found it. <laughs> Woo! Said Peach. Alright, now that's what I'm talking about. Then on the bottom, it shows like a Pentagon, Pentagon or Honeycomb design. And it shows like um, where the com other computer players is if you win the game. Or if somebody finds the lighted room already. I like the boo window over there. That's cool. They need to have that in the new Animal Crossing. Okay, so now I just gotta get pick up Daisy and then we can play the PD Piranha minigame. It's funny because I got my Bowser amiibo holding my um, my camera down. So it's kind of hilar hilarious looking at Bowser when I'm trying to record. Alright, everybody's doing good with, the, with their contributions. Let's see, I wonder if I could pick up Luigi just for the heck of it. So I could land right there. Or let's see if I can get to the boss battle. Actually, I can't reach the boss just yet, so I guess I can pick up Daisy and then make a turn for Luigi. Okay. All right, said Daisy. Someone picked up Waluigi. Choose an ally character to dismiss. Pretty obvious who we're gonna leave behind. <laughs> I had to get Luigi. Uh, Luigi's my second favorite character. Warp box. Ooh, ally duel. Let's see if- I hate the ally duels in this game, it sucks. But if you play this on Balloon Bash, it's totally fine. Yellow Toe doesn't have an ally, the winner gets some coins instead. Yahoo! Said to Blue Toad. Oh, Blue Toad got Waluigi, I thought Yellow Toad did. So, Luigi has... Oh, I didn't look at the dice blocks, did I? So, Daisy has uh, the same ability as Peach and Toadette, where if she passes by a flower, she can make it blue. Then she has the friendly dice block, which she can roll a 3, 4, 5, and then the question mark represents how many characters are in her party, which is actually pretty cool. I like Daisy's dice block. Luigi has the jumpy dice block, so he can be very slow, but he can also actually jump high, too. But the only problem is, um, more than likely, you'll get a low number. And then at least his um, ability, you can stop Goombas hiding in the grass, so that's a good idea. Okay, so usually like whenever I get characters, I always like to change up my order, so it takes a while, but you know, it get you can get, you get there eventually. Yeah, so see now I have it all in order. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm sorry, I always do this when I play my Mario Party Star Rush. It's pretty funny. Yes, I got your game. But yeah, whenever I play Mario Party Star Rush, I always reorganize my team. I have to. <laughs> no, I missed it. Oops. There we go. Hey, that was my coin, you know. Everyone's catching up to us now, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so I gotta use an item. Oh no, I gotta roll the dice. So DK and, um, who was the one on the bottom? I don't know. Somebody was at the bottom, I can't remember, recall who it was. Okay, I made it. 
Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, good. <laughs> Just as long as it wasn't me, I'd be f I'm fine. Yeah, Peach is finding all those coins in the flowers. That's why I love her ability. I'm like, of course Peach can find coins in the, fl the flowers. Woo! Say Peach. I think I've activated almost all three of the boss battles, right? We still have one more to go, though. Oh no, actually I didn't. King Bob Bomb was activated by somebody else. This minigame is actually pretty fun, but damn is it um, the most like stab in the back minigame ever created. The reason why I say that is because like sometimes like my teammates will throw the um, shell at me. And then here um, they'll hit me instead and then I'm like kind of like stunned for a little bit. Then I'm like, I'm on- Oh like that, see? Toadette totally threw that at me and I'm like, I'm on your team, Toadette! Don't, and then sometimes the inaccuracy of the shells too get a little bit annoying. I always get mad. I'm like, I threw it at him! And then watch out because sometimes he can do this like tornado spin and throws the shells right back at you. It's pretty hilarious. Gotcha. Toad attack. Ow! Yeah, right there. The tornado spin. Yeah, final attack. I played this game so much that I'm totally dominating everybody. <laughs> yeah, check out my teammates. We're all so happy. Gotta make sure my audio is still recording. I tried to record some Pokemon on the 3DS earlier, so, and then here, um, when I was recording, I didn't have my audio recording. I was like, no, so we have to rely on the camera for audio. Final, in final income. Final boss incoming. So of course yours truly is first. Yay! I'm so happy. Yellow Toad is second, and then Waluigi and Green Toad are actually third, so that's kinda weird. Usually we always have a fourth place. Oh, Diddy Kong is over there. So the closest person to the Bowser would actually be Yellow Toad for as weird as that is. Oh yeah guys, I finally got the only character amiibo I'm missing is actually the DK one. Mario Party 10. I just need one more DK, then I have a complete set. So I'm so excited. And then I'm going to get the Peach Amiibo. The new Peach Amiibo that's going to be coming out. And here's Bowser saying, I got a fun surprise for any wimps who can't keep up. Blah, yeah. There's a coin balloon. Then here's the best part of the game. Oh man, I love that tune. Dun, 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 I love the f it's kind of funny like when it's technically like the last five turns of the game oh yeah double sevens the game sort of gets this like upbeat um, music theme and I love the way it makes it sound it's pretty cool just gotta get through this dude oh I made it right on Bowser okay yeah I found five coins Click a character to dismiss. I don't want Diddy Kong. He doesn't need to be on my team. <laughs> Dang, I made it in one shot. How lucky was that? And I got to pick up Diddy Kong along the way. But, you know, I didn't add him to my team. So the furthest person away is, what, the Blue Toad? But he might get lucky. Whenever computer players get attacked by Bowser, they always get a good, they always get a good one. That one. Oh wow, they didn't actually he didn't get it this time. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> the way that sounded. So funny thing about the Bowser minigame in this Mario Party, there's like three different variances. I hope we get the one that I don't have to really use a, do a lot of leg work. But knowing me with the recording I'm doing now, we're gonna get that one. Oh no, we got the super easy one. Yes! Okay, that's good. This one's the easier one, so I can totally win this one. Well, it's mainly because of the recording purposes. Then you gotta watch out for Bowser's um, volcano breath. No! Everyone blew away! Even though this is the easiest path, everyone could have done that. Start! Then just watch out for the red targets, because they can blow you up. Yeah! 
Okay, every, uh, that's kind of weird. Like the easy path, they all blew up, but then um, the difficult path, they're like all all in sync with me. It's pretty hilarious. Yellow toe coming our way. Yeah. Oh man, all oh, my. Oh, okay, good job, Daisy. I'm glad you stayed alive. I like how Waluigi and um, Green Toad have the um, timer, the sundial. I think it was called. Oh no, Sandile, I mean, not Sundial. Uh oh, there went Toadette and Luigi. I don't know how that happened, but you guys saw that, right? Oh, all my teammates blew up. Come on, guys, you gotta stay alive. You gotta help me win this. Alright, Luigi, fly off again. Did my toe fly off too? Yeah, I got that. Oh, Toadette! Good job, Toadette. You're my new bestest friend along with Daisy. It's kind of funny, like, technically Daisy and Toadette are my only teammates that have actually made it to the end. Oh, I hate that part. It's kind of hard. Because, you know, Bowser just flies you off the screen for no reason. Yeah, final attack. Poor Bowser. But yeah, there's like three different Bowser mini games when you when you play this mode. It's pretty cool, I love it. Then whenever you play the Bowser mini games, you always get two stars. Or I think it's the final battle. Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, that's the um, practice board, so you don't really get a lot of detail or like the um, full amount of the game, but I always like playing that board. It's pretty fun. It's just too bad that it had to be a tutorial board, so not much happens from it, so. Because even like you don't even get the bonus stars either. It's kind of rude that they did that. But oh well. The final results have been calculated. It's time to announce our winner. Who won? I like how they just pray, if you will. <laughs> and the winner is, wait for it, Team Red! Yeah, we won. <laughs> Said Toad. I feel super happy about it. Yeah, so you, so you just get like this bland ending and a bland intro, so it's pretty cool though. Yeah, so here's the graph, and then um, if you see the she, if you see the bottom screen, this is what you get, where it shows um, Blue Toe like freaking out. I think Blue Toe was second when we were playing. Was oh no, he was third actually. Then of course Red Toe's all jumping with joy, weirdo. <laughs> okay, alrighty guys, so I guess I'll go ahead and um, select another board, and then um, we'll go ahead and play it again because you know that was just a tutorial board. So catch you for the next one, okay? Bye! <laughs>